What's up guys, Carnage here, and let's check out Killer Queen Black on Xbox. This game is published by Liquidbit and developed by Liquidbit and Bumblebear Games. It released on February 23rd, 2021 for the price of $19.99, or you could actually play it through Xbox Game Pass as well. So Killer Queen Black is a multiplayer 4v4 action strategy game. Mainly action, but there's a lot of strategy on how, to, how you can win. Because you could win in one of three different ways, and that makes the game unique. And I'll show you guys how to play the game and all of my uh, impressions and what I thought on the game as well. Uh, but before I do that, I do want to mention that there's online multiplayer up to eight players. Uh, on top of that, you could play through Game Pass, which makes it a bigger player base. And even still, even further than that, uh, there's crossplay, which is huge. You can play PC and other platforms um, together. So that is awesome. They have a great player base. I've always found a match pretty quick. And they have bots, uh, even if there isn't a match. So you're always able to play uh, in this game. Now, I do want to mention there's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. And I'm going to explain it all and tell you guys my impressions on the game as well as we go through. So in this gameplay, I am on the orange team in the middle of the screen there, and my good friend Printmatic is joining along, also on the orange team. And uh, we're trying to win in one of three different ways. Now this is the cool part about Killer Queen Black that, in my opinion, makes it pretty unique from other games. Uh, other games have different modes where you only have one way of winning, but in this game, you actually have three different ways of victories um, by economic victory, by military victory, or by snail victory. And what you have to do is be careful that, uh, like the left side there, uh, for example, uh, the blue player is on the snail in the middle of the map, going to the left. And if they reach that blue flag, they will win. Um, we have to try to stop them. But in the meantime, other stuff is happening in the same map as well. So you can also try to fill the berries on your side. So as you can see, the blue team has two berries at the very bottom left. Uh, but here, they actually just got the snail victory as they re reach the blue flag. So they have, uh, they have won that round, and that's one out of three rounds. If you see at the top left, that tracks the bar, uh, and then they have to win all three to get the full match victory. Now another way you can win is the economic victory, and I'll explain a little bit more about the roles of the characters. So you, in the beginning of a match, you're always able to pick either the worker bee uh, or the queen bee, or you could pick either, and it will put you on either role, uh, depending on what other players pick as well. Now, um, the Queen Bee is the most important and strongest character, but they're also, uh, they also have a way they can lose if the other Queen Bee or any other enemies kill them three times. Uh, they have three cocoons, which shows in the middle of the map there, uh, on, their, on their base. Um, but anyway, uh, the Queen Bee can try to thrust into them either downward or left and right and try to stop the other team from doing the objectives. Uh, now, here they got another Snail victory. Uh, but I'll explain a little bit more about the Queen Bee as well. So, like I said, Queen Bee has the most mobility. Uh, they can hold, they can press A and keep dashing around and flying uh, more than the other characters can. Uh, the other characters have a little bit of flight, and uh, the Worker Bee doesn't really, unless you get inside of one of these hubs. And I'm going to explain that. I know there's a lot going on in this game. I'm trying to explain everything to you guys. Uh, but yeah, the area here, you'll see it in the middle of the map. It's gray right now, which means it's neutral. Anyone can get in that hub, and you can get either a weapon or a defensive ability. Now, it takes a little bit to start here, but uh, there's a little bit lag or whatever. Um, not too bad. Usually it it's connects pretty well, but there we are. And uh, match is just about to start. And yeah, the military victory, I'll mention that type. This is the third way you can win. If you kill the Queen Bee three times, and anyone can kill the Queen Bee, uh, the worker doesn't have a weapon until you go into that little hub. As you can see, one of the players just got a weapon out of it. Now, they can't carry berries when they get a weapon, uh, but they can also now go after any of the enemy team, and uh, including the Queen Bee. So here you can see that uh, a lot is going on in the middle. The they're trying to get the s we're trying to get the snail going again. Um, but in the bottom left, that is the blue hub, and the bottom right is the orange one. But if the queen bee goes over one of those, it'll change it to their color. Uh, so if you, like, lock out all of the enemies from going to that, you know, weapon or uh, defense, then you have a better chance of winning. So right here, uh, they got me in the head. Headshot! <laughs> um, but that was that match, but uh, we're going to do a little better, hopefully, this next couple rounds. 
Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys got a little good idea of what uh, the types of ways to win are. But I'm going to explain a little bit more about the game as much as possible. Uh, and then also, what I'm liking about the game is that it's very unique, where you could win in one of three different ways. I do like that aspect. Um, yeah, so here you could see the roles. Uh, you could pick either worker, either, or queen. So I, so far I've been liking the queen mostly, uh, but I'm trying to get good with all of them, all the different types of characters. And if you pick either, it'll also, uh, obviously, you know, you don't mind which one they give you. Um, you know, pretty straightforward stuff there. Uh, there's a lot of controls, but they're really not as bad as it seems. It's pretty basic. You don't need all those extra controls, really. Uh, it's easy to learn, and I would say hard to master. It's one of those kind of games, you know? But uh, I'm definitely enjoying it so far. And uh, let's see how this next match goes here. And in this match, you could see at the top of the screen, there are robot heads, which signify the bots. And uh, right now, it's going to be me and Printmatic, two humans versus one human on the other team. So hopefully this goes better, but I will admit these bots, some of them are not a pushover. They will kick your ass if you're, if you're not paying attention. Uh, and somehow they work well together, uh, almost like humans at times. So it's, it's pretty cool. They have a pretty good AI uh, system. Uh, but overall, guys, this game is a lot of fun. I've been having a blast. Um, I'm going to keep the gameplay going for a couple more matches, but I am going to end the commentary shortly here. But before I do that, I do want to mention, like I said, this game is a lot of fun online. It's a great multiplayer game. My friend Printmatic also agrees. He's going to also be joining me, and we're going to be playing more multiplayer. Uh, I might even upload more videos uh, later in the future of this game and, uh, you know, just playing in general, having a good time. Uh, there's a lot of strategy involved that may not you may not realize at first, but give it a shot. And I uh, hope you guys like it. If you do, uh, post in the comments and leave a like on the video if you happen to. And uh, let, let me know what you guys think of the game as well. I'm curious. Um, but yeah, thanks again, uh, everyone that watched the video. And hope you guys check out the game as well. I'm going to leave a link to the store page of the game in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, just thanks again for your time uh, and your support. If you want to hit that notification bell, you guys know when my new videos go live. And I want to thank you guys again. Um, appreciate it. See you guys next time.